hey guys love ashley here welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be making my flower wall backdrop i'm going to be adding to the one i already have so if you watch my other video then you will see where i was saying i wanted to make it longer so that's what i'm going to be doing today i'm going to be adding to my board and i'm just going to show you all the process of me doing that and show you how simple it is so let's get started this is just all the flowers that I will be using. These are artificial roses that I bought off of Amazon. Um, and some of them I bought from my local Dollar Tree. So get whatever colors you like. And then here's my glue gun and glue sticks. So this is what I'm gonna be using to stick it to my board. And this is what I'm gonna be using to hang my board. Just some picture hanging strips, so. Yeah, so first thing I did was went through and pulled all the stems off of the flowers as you see me doing. So we're not going to need the stems for the board. So you just want to go through and remove the stems off of every single flower. And like I said, these flowers are artificial. They're made out of foam and some of them are made out of plastic. So it's really easy to pull the stems out of them and it don't cause no damage or nothing like that. So... Make sure you go through and get all the stems pulled out or you know you can take some scissors and cut them if you want but they come out really easy i think it's easier to just pull them out so just go through and make sure you get all of those out before you start gluing them so yeah that's what i'm doing here see me just about finishing up there and then you want to start going ahead to glue them down to the board so just take your glue gun put a little glue on the back of the flower and hold it down on the board as you see me doing it's super simple to do um, you do want to put like a nice amount of glue on the back so it can hold really well but they stick really easy um, it's really in place like you don't have to worry about it falling off or moving or nothing as long as you stick it on there and put a nice amount of glue it's not going nowhere so yeah that's really all there is to it repetitively picking up a flower arranging them however you want to arrange them and sticking them on the board so it's that's literally all there is to it and the, I chose the colors I chose because those are like my brand colors that represent my business um, the green and the white and the black those are the colors that i use pretty much for my business all the time the red is just a extra color i added in there i just wanted like a little pop of red in there i just think it looks cute with those colors and like kind of classy with it so that's why i added the red in there but you can literally choose whichever type of flowers and whatever colors that you like and this part is fun too. This is my favorite part. Like if you're into crafts and just being creative, you'll probably enjoy this part too. And you just see me gluing away. And then this foam board that I'm using, I literally bought uh, two pieces of foam from my local Dollar Tree um, and glued them together. Because uh, one board by itself was a little flimsy, so I glued two together. But the smarter thing that I recommend doing if you ever try to do this is just get a thicker piece of foam board. Um, that's all they had at the Dollar Tree I went to, so that's just what I used. But an easier way would just be to get a thick piece of foam board that's like really sturdy. Because you don't want something that's really thin and flimsy. Um, that's kind of how mine was, so that's why I glued two of them together. And that made it a lot more sturdy. But yeah, I just glued those two foam boards together and um, cut them the way I needed them to be cut and then I went ahead and glued my flowers on as you see me doing here and that's how easy it is like literally that's all you're doing is gluing flowers on here um, and once you finish you want to put the um, petrol hanging sticky things that I had you want to put those on the back of the board and um, just stick it wherever you want to on the wall. Um, the first time I made my board, I used like little thumbtacks to stick it, but those little stickers would probably be better. And then after I finish, this is what it looks like. So 
I did this time, um, the bottom is where I added to. I did end up having more green flowers than I did for the first board that I created. So you'll notice it's more green at the bottom. So it's okay though, it still looks good to me. And this is what it looks like before. So it's the same thing, it was just a little shorter. I like it longer better because it looks better when I take pictures of my clients' lashes.